Now let's take a look at working with Power BI as it relates to PWA. The first thing we're going to do is let's make sure that we have the URL that we're going to use for the integration between Power BI and Project Online. So I'm just going to simply copy that here into my pasteboard within, within Windows. Now I'm going to go up to my my app area, my app selector, and I'm going to find myself at Power BI. Go ahead and make that selection. Now when you first come into Power BI, some of you will be prompted to log in if you haven't connected to it. Go ahead and do that here. Others of you will already have potentially some dashboards and it'll be wanting you to then connect um, to the appropriate service. If you're just starting off with Power BI and you haven't made any connections or you don't have any content packs or anything connected as of yet the first thing you're going to want to do is in the content pack library area is a services category here note the different options that you have and so we're connecting to a service in this case PWA from within Power BI so I'm simply going to click on get data when I click on the Get Data option, notice it is looking for Content Packs for Power BI. And what I'm looking for as I scroll down here is, of course, Project Online. And you'll notice there's the option there. So I'll click on Get in the Microsoft Project Online area. And the first thing it's looking for is that URL. So I'll go ahead and paste that in there. Then I'll hit next here. And so these next few steps are basically looking to authenticate the user. Well, in this case, I'm going to use OAuth2 because what we're basically saying is we want to authenticate the user into Project Online from within Power BI. So we want to make sure we get our authentication method and use the right one there. So we want to sign in at this point basically using our Office 365 credentials. So when you come into this screen just make sure you're logging in with the appropriate account and you're signing in with Office 365 into Power BI. And so it's importing data as you can see here into Power BI. And these are essentially existing reports or dashboards if you prefer that are being brought into as a content pack into Power BI. So Microsoft has done some of the work for you in terms of putting these different dashboards together. And we'll just allow those to render up. You'll notice that I can scroll down and you're seeing a number of different dashboards here available to us active risks, active issues, open items. Now over on the left hand side and you'll notice it tells us your data set is ready. Let Power BI help you explore your data. I'm just going to close out of that. We'll take a look at that data set here in a moment. But it brought in the data, right? So it's pulling it in from within PWA right here into Power BI by just simply logging into it and being, being authorized to get to the data. And again, I'll scroll down just so that you can see these different options here. Many different dashboards available to us. Then over on the left-hand side, you'll notice that there is the ability for us to view the data in different ways. So I'm going to expand this area. And you'll notice that here's your data set down at the bottom. So from the data set is where you can manage how the data is essentially being brought over. Okay. Then above that is the project area. So I can click on that particular report. And again, it's just simply showing us the different reports that are being viewed, essentially in the dashboard that we were looking at earlier. And here's the dashboard area. I'll click on Microsoft Project. And that's what we first saw when we came into this particular screen. So really, they organize this by the data set 
and the reports and the dashboards and each of these can be built out notice there's a plus next to the dashboard to build to build a new day uh, dashboard here if you go down to the data set same thing here also you can go back to get data so if you were working with yet a separate data set within this particular dashboard you could do that here so I can click right back on get data and it brings me into that previous screen and then I can go back to my workspaces and have as many workspaces as I as I need and there's different options around adding titles in editing the overall presentation of this particular screen but as you can see here very easily and quickly we can make that connection into Power BI and then allowing us to generate some additional reports out of here.